What up, YouTubers? It's Matthew Vick with Sonoma Strong Hauling. In this video today is going to be about how to start a business and be successful. So if you haven't seen part one, two, three, or four, I would go back and watch those. And this is for you guys that are just starting your junk removal business and you guys notice it slowed down a little bit. Well, out here in California, it don't really slow down that much for us. And we do everything organic. But when it does slow down a little bit, I'm gonna show you guys some tips and some tricks how to stay busy. And you'll notice when stuff slows down a little bit that you'll see the 1-800 got junk trucks on the side of the road parked. You'll see your competitors parked. You'll pull up to the dumps, there'll be no dump line. You ask the people at the dumps, has it been busy? They'll be like, nah, it's been slow. That's how you guys know it's slowing down just a little bit. But out here in Cali, our weather ain't that bad. Today is pretty cold and uh, we got some jobs on the list, a couple estimates. So it's gonna be a video to show you guys how to stay busy, give you some tips and tricks how to do it. And yeah, I'm waiting on the JoJo right now. And here she comes, looking sexy like she always does. Check her out, always ready to come work. You're locked out! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm leaving her out of here in the rain, guys. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna show you how to get this money. So I let JoJo win the car. <laughs> yeah. Say what up. What up? What's happening? What's happening? So yeah, we're pulling up to the job right now. And this job, this customer sent me some photos yesterday. And the photos weren't that clear. I gave her a ballpark price, what it would be. She wanted a firm price. I told her I can't guarantee that I can do it for that price. So we came out here to give a price on the job. So I don't like giving firm prices on photos so we're pulling up to the job right now let's see if we lock it in yeah, it's hard to get firm prices on photos because sometimes things are bigger in person than they look on in pictures and then sometimes heavier things are hidden under bags or you don't really know what's inside boxes and bags and it's really hard to give a firm price um, and then you don't want them saying well you quoted this price when you get there and it, it's good to just leave yourself with some leeway and, and be able to make it a little bit more if you notice that there's heavy things in the boxes or in the or there's tile or there's just stuff that you didn't see in a photograph so it's best to just give it's going to be around this amount or about that amount so you can go up or down so i'm gonna show you guys a photo of all the trash i just seen that i just drove by the house right now and it looks like a lot more so that's why I didn't give her a firm price. So we might not get this job. I'm not 100% sure if it's worth our time, but we'll find out. It's an old lady, so we'll try to we'll try to work with her, see what we can do, see if we can lock it in. But she had a set price she wanted to pay, and sometimes it's good just to walk away if you ain't making money. But I'm gonna try to talk her into it. See what happens, guys. I'm like 95% get jobs but every once in a while i don't get them so see what happens so here's the job in person oh it ain't that bad really it's not that bad not as bad as i thought Yeah, we'll do this one, I'm pretty sure. So it isn't that bad. And we got the job. We got the job. JoJo, we got the job. Are you on Facebook? Not on the clock. I'm rarely on my phone. I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do this job real quick, guys. And it's a lady got ripped off before. So we're gonna help her out and still make some money. And she's very happy. So yeah, let's get it done. Now about 20 minutes later, job is complete. And I'm gonna show you guys what you guys should do to 
get more business. Instead of taking a picture before and after, you can do that. But always ask the customer to do a video with you. So check it out. I'm asked to leave a review of how we did our job, how she liked our service. What do you guys think about that, Jojo? It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Let's see if we can get her to do it. So I'm here with Chris in Petaluma, California. How would you rate our service, Chris? Your service was the best, which is why I gave you a tip, because it was so good. I really appreciate what you did. It makes my life so much easier. I'll call you again next time, for All right. sure. Number we appreciate one. it. Okay. Another happy customer, guys. Now that is 100% the best advertising you guys can get, and you guys can post those on your Facebook business page. And uh, yeah, what should I say about great. that? She loved us, it was awesome. Who don't love us? Killing the game out here in Sonoma County, guys. So stay tuned, we'll show you some more tricks and tips. Now getting people to do videos like that is almost better than a Google review or a Yelp review because people like seeing that on your website, on your YouTube channel. And yeah, what you gotta say about that, JoJo? Yeah, they're, those are really good because um, you can be creative in how you use them. So you could make yourself a little commercial out of them and or you could put them on your website. It's good. They're like they're testimonials of people that loved your work and want want to call you back. And it's I like them because pictures are good. Before and after pictures are good, and pictures of your trailer with you know call us. Those are good. But um, when people could see a video, um, it's more entertaining and it stands out more. I think. Now that is one cool dog right there. Definitely. So it's coffee time. And we almost got one thou wow. One thou wow? Yeah, one thou wow subscribers. Oh, 1,000 subscribers. Oh, gotcha. yeah. So we're getting coffee right now, guys. We'll show you some more tricks and tips how to stay busy. Oh, I can't forget my wallet. Oh, no. Now, it's probably been over a year since we've done this. So if you guys are just starting your junk removal business, here's a good tip to get business yeah, we haven't done it for over a year, but these are things that JoJo made. They're little flyers, cheaply made, don't cost nothing, just a printer, some yellow paper. And mm -hmm. What kind of paper is that? Is that uh... It's a, it's cardstock. It's not the expensive cardstock. It's more like kind of construction paper. Um, it, it'll last a little bit longer than just yeah. regular paper. Yeah, you just drop those off at the real estate office's boxes and uh, you will get business that way. And I will later on show you how to do that in this video. Because we got time today. And keep in mind, the hustle don't stop. It keeps going. When you guys get home, don't just sit on that couch and just be like, oh yeah, I'm done for the day. Hopefully a job comes in. No, you guys want to network. So we'll show you how to update a website and all the good little stuff. So yeah. Prediction of the dump fee, Jojo. Prediction of the dump fee, hmm. I'm gonna say $78. I'm gonna say 56. So the Jojo won $60. Oh. How's it feel? It's good, that's only $4 off. Oh Again. yeah, again. Woo -woo. And another thing you guys always wanna do is always be cool with the guys at the dumps, don't piss them off. Cause sometimes they'll let you slide through with some stuff for cheaper prices. You might have a little bit of a mixed load and you got mostly clean wood and they'll give you the price for clean wood. So be cool with the people at the dumps. I don't care if they piss you off, always be cool with them regardless. It will save you guys money in the long run. Now, if you guys have been in the junk removal business for longer than a year, what you guys need to do is save your money, get a big enough truck that can pull a dump trailer or get a dump truck. Cause if you're in loading stuff by hand, that's just torture. So save your money and invest it in your business. How important is it, Jojo, to get something just to push a button? Well, it was it was super important for us. It allowed us to do bigger jobs. It allowed us to do multiple jobs before having to go to the dumps. Um, it was way quicker, just push a button. Um, it's just a game changer completely. I mean, it's great to start off with the utility trailer, but invest your money back in your business and get that dump trailer. Oh, yeah. It will change your whole ball game. Oh yeah, so yeah, that wear and tear on your body, 
you guys don't want to be doing this forever unloading that trailer i see other guys using utility trailers all the time or box trucks don't go that way save your back save your body and make it easy for yourself because junk removal can be torture sometimes but it pays good money so make it as comfortable as possible and save your cash and invest it back in your business that's the most important thing to do especially if you've been in the game longer than a year save your money and get that button push that button it makes life a lot easier so yeah that's just really important that's all i had to say i'm just glad we ain't loading nothing by hand anymore jojo yeah all i gotta say is fuck that <laughs> what fuck that look who's just sitting there i don't know if you guys can see that or not it's been there all day so yes yeah, that's how you guys know it's slow and those guys are not your enemies. They are the reason why you guys can charge so much money. Just be a little bit cheaper than them guys and you're good. So don't be too much of a cheap ass. Just be a little bit cheaper than them guys. It is raining out here. Wow. So now I got a stack of these and uh, we'll walk into the real estate office and drop them off. So now what I did was I walked in, talked to the lady at the front desk and asked her if I could drop them off in the realtor's boxes. So what will happen is you'll walk in and realtors will have boxes where people drop stuff off their mail, or whatever it is. And I just go in there and put one in each realtor box. That's what you guys want to do. So that's a good way to network. And it's been over a year. We haven't done that. We don't need to do that. But I wanted to show you guys how to do that, especially if you guys are starting your junk mobile business. It's really important to get realtors on the team. How important is it? It's super important. It's one of the best ways to start. Um, when our phone first started ringing, it was um, realtors. And so many of them use us consistently. They use us all the time. So um, it's really important. So yeah, it's the best. One of the best ways to network for free and get business. And once they use you once, they'll use you again, and they'll tell other realtors in the office, and then all of a sudden your name's just out there and you won't need to do it no more. So, something you guys definitely want to do at first, especially if you guys are sitting at home on the couch, get out there and uh, start getting it. Grind, get your hustle on. So we are heading back to the house right now, and I'm gonna show you how JoJo updates the website. So stay tuned. And here's another good tip. You see TVs and stuff out in front of houses? Go over there and knock on the door and see if they need a hauled away if you guys are slow. So that TV is actually my neighbor down the street. He's trying to get rid of it for free. If I give him about three more days, he'll be calling me up to haul it away. So yeah, it's another good way to generate business. Keep that in mind. So subscribers always ask me, how do you make your videos? Well, I use InShot app on my iPhone and I use iMovie on my MacBook laptop. And we use this laptop just for YouTube. And this laptop we got from a junk removal job that the JoJo found when she was dumpster diving. <laughs> so yeah, now she's gonna show you guys how to update your website. And we use GoDaddy, so go ahead JoJo. Yeah, we use GoDaddy. Um, before I created our website, I didn't have any experience doing websites. So um, I actually wasn't going to be the person to do our website. I was going to have somebody else do it. But I um, got curious and looked around and just kind of started messing with stuff and realized it's really not difficult. So I tried WordPress before and that was very confusing. So if you haven't done your website yet, I strongly suggest you do it through GoDaddy because it's pretty user friendly. Um, so this is our website and we actually just changed it up and got a kind of a new look. It's a new year. So I, we got a new logo and we kind of have a new look. Um, I suggest you do it yourself and you don't hire somebody else to do it because then you could do your own SEO and you can update it whenever you want to and feel like it. Um, here's a new picture we put up on ours. Um, 
And SEO, how do we do SEO? So when you have GoDaddy and you put a picture up, like here you could click on the picture and then it says a description for your picture. And that's where you um, can write down stuff. So you should definitely use the city of where you're doing junk removal. And then you should use words that you specialize in like appliance removal or trash removal or junk removal. Just use as many words as you can possibly. Um, it'll tell you on here how many words you can, like how many letters you can use. And I use them all up till it says zero or here's three. I mean, can't really make words out of three, but use... Take advantage and use as much letters as you possibly can. Um, I also think that when you're doing a website, simple is best. Sometimes you go to people's websites and there's so many pictures and so much wording and you don't even, your eyes don't even know where to look. But here, it's simple. Like we take all of these and then in-home estimates. It's just really easy. It stands out. It's easy to understand. I think simple is the best. Simple pictures. They'll have start, uh, stock photos that you can use, but I think it's best that you just take a picture of your truck and your real jobs and your real before and after pictures. And um, I don't like a lot of wording. I think you lose people when you have a lot of writing. So just simple picture of appliances and appliance removal. Or simple picture of a garage and garage and storage clean out. Just real simple wording I think is best. And good pictures that just look like you're out there doing it. And how often do you update the website? I think it's good to, I would say once a month, it's good to throw up a couple of new pictures, and just change up the wording in your SEO a little bit. Um, I notice that when we do that and hit publish up here, um, within the next couple of days, the phone rings more. Yeah, it rings a lot more. So yeah. that's something you guys definitely want to do. Throw your Yelp reviews up there, your YouTube channel, and show them the YouTube channel, how we have the happy customers youtube channel yeah, right there like Bam. right here oh yeah so you know another thing i like about godaddy is it allows you to put videos up um your videos have to come from youtube to put to post them that's one thing i kind of don't like but um this one if i hit play it's just one of those testimonials again of um you know do you want me to hit play or? no you don't have to hit play but a lot of customers see our website and they see the videos and they love it. They're like, yeah, we've seen the videos on YouTube. And I'm happy they've seen these videos instead of me and the redneck. But, hey, it is what it is. And, yeah. Make it simple, easy. Hide those keywords, And this is our website. Yep. And we have agencies we've worked with. And it's kind of nice. People look and they're like, oh, they did work for Costco or you know, Coldwell Banker, oh, they must be awesome. Definitely, definitely. So, guys, make sure you guys update your website. Put those keywords in there. Put the links in there. And just uh, make it look professional. Don't make it look messy. Don't just throw it up. Make it look clean like the big dogs. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, throw those keywords in there. Update it. And that's how you guys update your website. Now the JoJo just explained how to update your website. Now things not to do. When you show up to a job, you don't want to be smoking a cigarette, vaping in the truck, blowing clouds out. You don't want to spit on the ground when you show up to the property. You guys don't want to be cussing and cursing. That's very unprofessional. You want to be clean cut, show up, have a smile on your face, and get the job done. You don't want to be unprofessional at all. So another thing I would never do is load a trailer up without giving them a price. Don't start loading the trailer up, then give a price. Make sure, make sure you give a price first, then load the trailer. Anything else, JoJo? What not to do? Maybe when you see something you like, don't be like, oh, wow. Anything else, JoJo? 
No, you don't want to do that, but you could be you could be subtle about that when you see things you like. So <laughs> still charge money and just put it aside, but don't be like, "Oh my goodness, I need this at the house." Oh no, you absolutely want to act in front of the customer as if everything is junk. Everything is worthless. Um that's that's how you definitely want to come across. But um if you see something you like, Sometimes I'll give you a look and we'll stash it in the truck or something. Or if you can resell it, put it aside and just uh, put it aside and make that money, guys. So we're about to head out and do another job. Actually, it's an estimate and we're going to see if we can lock it in. And if you guys are learning anything from this video, please leave a, leave a comment down below and let us know. Oh, yeah. The JoJo forgot to add one more thing. Oh, yeah, because we have we have definitely come across quite a few things that we've really liked so much that we just kept ourselves. so what we'll do is we'll put a, um, a link in the description below of um, a video where we just walk around our house and show you stuff cool things that we found in junk removal so we'll include that in the link in the description sounds good so another way to network is bandit signs these signs right here were pretty cheap but i don't like them reason why jojo explained well, they're a little small. They're kind of hard to see from a distance. Um, and also, they're not made super good. On a windy day, they'll they'll bend and you'll notice that, you know, your sign is like bent. So the bigger's the better. The bigger's the better. This size is the size you guys want to get. And yeah, those are a lot bigger, better, and you can see them. They're more durable too. And they're weatherproof and um, they don't, they just don't bend as easy. And you can see them from far. far so away. yeah. Get the bigger ones, save your money, spend a little bit more money, and just get the bigger ones. These little ones do get us business, but they're just harder to see. You gotta be right up on them, and they bend, and it looks kinda ghetto with them bent, so you don't want them flopping around in town. So yeah, definitely get the bigger size ones. They cost a little, little bit more, but they're well worth it. And you guys will get a lot of business from signs too if you guys post them in the right area. Yeah. Now we are heading back out to go give an estimate. And it is raining out here in Cali. And today it's a slow day for us. So by saying that, is we still gonna get money. Now let's go over the most difficult thing when you guys start a drunk removal business. The hardest thing to do is set prices, price jobs, and get the jobs. Because you guys can ask people in other states what they charge but it's gonna be different no matter where you're at you can't go off what people are doing in texas you can't go off what we're doing in california because our dump fees are a lot higher and the price of living's higher so we can charge more money so keep that in mind my best advice for you is just go off 1-800-GOT-JUNK and be a little bit cheaper than them i mean you can give me a ring or send me a picture of a job you're at and want a price but really you might not get that job because prices are gonna be different no matter where you're at in the United States, so you can't go off what other people are doing. So there ain't really a good YouTube video on pricing. The best way to do it would be be a little bit cheaper than 1-800-GOT-JUNK, have a load price, and just learn what your dump fees are at, where you guys are at, and just learn how to get rid of stuff the cheapest way possible. And maybe you guys might want to charge per cubic yard or per job, I would just do it per load. If you guys are starting your junk removal business, just do it per load. And you guys will make more money than doing it per hour. So if you guys are starting a junk removal business, don't do it per hour, do it per load. You'll make a lot more cash. So yeah, that was the most difficult thing for me when I started off was figuring out how to price stuff. But now I got it down like a charm. So it's gonna take a while, but you guys will get it. What you gotta say about that, Jojo? Yeah, I agree. It's the hardest part of starting out because um, you're you're nervous at first and you want to get the jobs. It, you don't want to be too cheap and then you don't want to, you know, charge too much. So it, it, I would say it's it's the hardest part, but you'll eventually um, find what works in your area because every area is different. So we can't really tell you what you should charge people because your area is different. So um, yeah, it's. Yeah, so keep that in mind. You guys can ask people, but you're gonna have to figure that out yourself. Trial and error. So, we're heading to the job. Stay tuned. Oh, I forgot. You wanna hear something funny? 
when I first started, I had this one realtor hit me up. I went and go, I went and looked at a job, and I told him a thousand dollars a load, straight smile on my face. Yeah, a thousand dollars a load. I had no idea what to charge, and guess what? He never called me back. <laughs> so don't trip if you guys charge too much or too little. Just make it a learning experience. So yeah, keep your hustle tight and figure it out, guys. So yeah, that's a mistake I made. And it was a good job too. Thousand dollars a load, I was a straight idiot. But you know what? I had to learn, so that's what you guys will have to do. So keep that in mind. All right, now we're heading to the next job. So yep, they're still there at the same place. Same place. So we locked the job in, but she has to go through a few things because some stuff she's keeping. And we'll be back here tomorrow to get it done. So that's two for two today. That is pretty damn good. That's how we do it. So yeah, she got a lot of garbage in there, a lot of good stuff she wants to keep. So if she wasn't ready, sometimes you're gonna deal with customers that you go there and they got a pile and they say, oh, some of this goes, some of this doesn't go. Well, we should have it ready, but she says she'll have it ready by tomorrow. So we'll, we'll be back here tomorrow. So yeah, if you guys like these videos, hit that like and subscribe button and uh, leave a comment down below. Jojo, what you gotta say? You wanna say anything? No, it was a good day. It was a very good day. So yeah, keep hauling and balling, getting that cash flow. And if you ever have any questions, leave a comment down below. As long as it's not about prices, guys, because I don't tell you guys my prices. Too many competitors watching this channel. So yeah, keep getting that money, guys. Until next time. Oh yeah.